All right, guys, the cops are back. Same homeless woman. Second cop. He's going into, she might have went into Walgreens. Dude, they said no. I think the 49ers lost. They're getting, the Seahawks are getting ready to kick their uh, final field goal in overtime. We blew it, man. Hey, we're still, we only lost one for the year. But it kind of pisses me off, man. I didn't get to see the kick because I there goes a cop. Because I had to jump out here and come over here. <clears throat> this is going to be... Uh, I'll give you the unit number. 14 Paul 2. 14 Paul 2. So they're bringing them out in numbers. I guess if he leaves, the next one will be 14 Paul 3, right? <clears throat> Since we've had one, now we've got two. So 14 Paul 2 is inside the Walgreens. 14 Paul 1 was here earlier. And I said the Seahawks are getting ready to kick their winning field goal in overtime. Hopefully they miss it. I won't know I'm here. Is that a cop down there? No. Uh, no that ain't a cop car. I was looking down here. There's a car parked right there. See the taillights? No, that's not a cop car. It was too dark. When that one car went by with their headlights. We do have 14 Paul 2 here. I knew I was kind of staying in the area because I was afraid they would come back for this homeless woman. And I don't know if Walgreens is calling on her or if she's like just needs assistance or what. We're going to find out. But <sighs> definitely want to know what they're doing in there with this poor woman. Well, this is the second deputy that's come out tonight for this one. So. <clears throat> and again, it's Walgreens. We're here on 4th Street and Yucaipa Boulevard. So I'm kind of standing here filming the front because I want to know exactly when he comes out. I want to be able to see it. But yeah, it's exciting for you guys, huh? I'm kind of move the camera around and give you guys something else to see as well. <coughs> no. Over here they do have a red box at Walgreens. You want to rent a movie? And, uh, a lot of your tweakers used to hang out here. This was like the hangout place right here in the front. Mostly because they have the 24-hour pharmacy inside. But uh, I think they've all been run off. Walgreens just doesn't want them out here. So the cop is in there right now. <coughs> I'm going to back up a little because there's a lady going in with her child and they'll be behind the police car, so I won't be recording them. But um, We are watching the front. When the police officer comes out, I do want to record it. I might unplug the mic so that you guys get to hear, too, the background. <clears throat> yeah, here he comes. So it must be code four because he's coming out without her. So he was looking for her though, I think. How you doing, sir? Yeah, it's a little chilly, but well, no, it's it's a sucky night. The 49ers just lost, so oh, it's a go. sucky night. You too, sir. All right, guys, so I don't know where, what happened where she's at, but this is a cool cop. So he came out without her, so maybe it's they're going to leave her alone, or maybe she wasn't even in there. 
Uh, but there's stuff's out front, so I don't know. Yeah, like I told him it's a sucky night. The 49ers just lost. This is a terrible night. This is the worst night of the month so far, anyway. Uh, but uh, yeah, that's how it goes in NFL. So I guess they're going to leave her alone now. Um, yeah, I wasn't sure. I was hoping he was not going to come out with her and be like, oh, crap, man. See, they won't leave this poor woman alone. But um, maybe she's just in there shopping and they said, no, she's fine. She's shopping. Or maybe she's not in there. I don't know. See, I'm, I'm guessing because I want you guys to give me your theories. I'm not a journalist. I'm an activist. Come on. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, I got to go, guys. I'm going home. I'm done for the night.